13 years ago, a fantastic and severely underrated game was released for the Nintendo DS. Coming from the Might and Magic franchise, this game is like chess on steroids with some of the most unique mechanics of any strategy game. It would later get an HD port to Xbox 360, PS3, and Steam. Its name is Clash of Heroes. My goal with this series is to create a simple explanation of all of its mechanics, as well as to spread knowledge of the game's existence and bring it to the spotlight where it belongs. This is How to Play Clash of Heroes. This is the battlefield. It is split into two parts, the top half and the bottom half. This is where the two players will keep and use their units. Each half is eight spaces wide and six spaces deep. To keep it simple, we'll focus on the bottom half of the field from now on, but know that the top half behaves in the same way. Behind the playable field is a line. If an enemy attack reaches this line, the corresponding player will lose HP. The player's health bar and the hero spell meter are on one side of this line, and the reinforcement count is on the other side. Behind this line is an arrow with a number on it. That arrow is a pointer towards your current selection, and the number displays the amount of remaining moves you have this turn. If it isn't your turn, there will not be a number, and the arrow will be slightly transparent. The first player will have two moves for the first round, but every turn for the rest of the match will consist of three moves. There are some exceptions to this rule, but those will be explained in future episodes that detail more complicated elements of the game. Now let's look at the actions we can do on our turn. To pick up a unit, hover over it with either your mouse or your arrow keys, and then either left click or press space. You can only pick up units that are at the back of your battlefield. You can then move your selection to where you want to place the unit, left click or press space again, and the unit you picked up will be launched to the furthest forward space that is not obstructed. Doing this will cost a move, but if you unintentionally pick up a unit, don't worry. If you launch the unit back into the same spot where it was picked up from, your move count will stay the same. To delete a unit, simply right click or press the delete key while hovering over it. This action cannot be undone and it always costs a move, so be very careful. To call for reinforcements, either press control or click on your reinforcement count. This will cost a move, give you the corresponding amount of units, and set your reinforcement count to zero. I will go more in depth on how calling for reinforcements is calculated in a future installment of this series. Once you have enough MP, or mana points, a sound will play and your hero spell's symbol will become colored rather than transparent. While it is charged, you can activate it at any time during your turn by either clicking on the meter or pressing enter. Unlike everything else so far, using your hero spell does not cost a move. Finally, if you run out of options but you still have moves to spend, you can end your turn prematurely by pressing backspace on your keyboard. This will give you a pop-up that will confirm that you wish to end your turn early. Selecting yes will obviously end your turn. This will refund a bit of MP based off of how many moves you have left. Those are the basics of the field, the UI, and the basic moves in Clash of Heroes. In the next video, I will explain the different types of units and how to create formations.